If you don't make money while you sleep, you will be working until you die. Most people have no recurring income. In fact, they don't have much occurring income. But if you want to have freedom, choice and profit, then you need to move from earned income to passive income, from occurring income to recurring income. And I'm going to share with you some strategies and tactics to build recurring income, to build assets that you set and then forget, that you work hard enough so you don't have to work hard. Now, when it comes to building recurring income, there is only one way you can do it, only one. There's more than one way to work and earn a living, but there's only one way to earn recurring or passive income. Let me know in the comments if you think you know what the answer is. One way only to earn recurring or residual or passive income. I think there's three stages of this recurring income. I can already see there a few of you have just got the answer correct. So I believe it starts with residual income. Then it goes to recurring income and then it goes to passive income. Now, passive income can be a little bit of a fantasy. You have to be careful not to get lured into schemes or scams or people can convince you it's a bit easier than it is. But essentially it goes from residual to recurring to passive. In fact, I'm going to write this down. Just designed a new talk for myself. Three stages of recurring income, residual, recurring, passive. So the only way, the only one way you can create recurring, residual or passive income is by building assets. And some of you got the answer right. Some of you mentioned membership sites, content creation, providing value, etc. These are all correct. But if you want recurring income, income on repeat, if you want passive income, you know, making money while you sleep, you must have assets. So my first question to you, I'm going to get in your face and I'm going to challenge you. My first question to you is this. Do you have assets that produce recurring and passive income? Or do you have to work each month to pay your bills? Because if you have to work each month to pay your bills, I'm not looking down on that. I'm, I, I, I'm not. It's not a a derisory thing. You know, some people have some disdain if you work for a living and you have a boss. Oh, you have a boss. Oh, you exchange time for money. Ugh. No, I, I get that. That's the normal way to work. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you haven't yet found the asset class that's right for you. Maybe you don't know how to build assets. Or maybe your job is actually something you're passionate about. I'm passionate about my job. I have earned income and passive income. I have occurring income and recurring income. For me, I don't have to just have recurring income. I got paid £70,000 to do a 90-minute speech plus follow-up. Of course I'm going to take that. Oh, oh, no, it's not recurring. Fuck off. Of course I'm going to take that level of fee. Well, you know, some people earn more than that. Donald Trump earns more than that. But... So I don't mind occurring, but I must also have recurring. Donna says here she lost her job. So if you lose your job and you only have occurring income, you no longer have any income. Whereas if you have assets and you lose your job or you want to do something else or you just have a change of heart or you become ill, if you have recurring income, then you have freedom, you have choice and you have profit. So you need to build assets. Now there are... In my experience, two main types of assets, there's physical assets and digital assets. So a physical asset is gold, real estate. A digital asset might be ownership in a company, a stock portfolio. It might be your personal brand. It might be a, an online membership site. Now, whilst 
I love physical assets. I'm in a 5,000 square foot um, office that I own. I have a 5,000 square foot training suite next door that I own. Just developed 135,000 square foot, 159 tenant block that I own. 50-50 with my business partner, but I own them. And these are physical assets and they are unbreakable. And they have huge equity and huge cash flow. But they take longer to set up. They're more cash intensive. And they can be harder than digital assets. So, for example, give me a yes in the comments if you're a member of Rob.team. Give me a yes if you're a member of Rob.team and a no if you're not yet a member of Rob.team. I won't judge you and I won't pitch you either. So don't worry. You can um, give me a yes or a no. Yes, if you're a member of... I can see some of you said you've just joined. Um, so if you're a member of Rob.team, this is a digital asset of mine. Now, you get masterclass courses. You get um, challenges. You get live events. You get um, unique um, premium content from me every month. So quite a few of you have just joined there, I can see. Um, now, the reason I can do that and only charge you f a £5 a month is one, I've got thousands of members. And two, all the content is recorded digitally except the live events. So I can come into this studio here uh, and I can record some content and then upload it onto my Rob.team membership site. And then it is digitally built as an asset. Because any piece of content I put on Rob.team, it's going to stay there for years. Years and years and years. And so it's a digital asset. I own domain names. I own cryptocurrencies. I've written 18 books. 12 of them, I believe, are now on Audible, on audio. I have the, Disruptive, the Disruptors podcast and the Money podcast. And I have sponsors and advertisers. I've got paid a six-figure sum just by one sponsor of the Disruptors podcast. So my YouTube channel, um, one video made $23,000, just one video. My Facebook lives, every time I go live, I earn between $50 and $4,000 per live video and I go live daily. So all of these are digital assets and digital assets are quicker, easier and cheaper to set up. Now, by the way, none of these are brags. There's a lot more that I've done that would sound more of a brag. I'm just giving you some live examples. Now, um, a couple of you have asked, who am I and what do I do? Forgive me for assuming that the whole world knows me. So my name is Rob Moore and I'm known as the Disruptive Entrepreneur. I have um, two kids and first and foremost, I'm a family man who um, managed to retire his dad and his mum and help his sister um, when they were more struggling back in 2007 and 8. And I'm the most proud of what I've given rather than what I've achieved. So I have a foundation that's given away, I think we've given away now more than seven figures in philanthropic causes for start and scale up entrepreneurs, for vulnerable um, people who, um, you know, are underprivileged. But of course, I've got a little CV as well. Broke the world record for the longest speech, not once, but twice. Um, got one of the, in fact, one of, if not the top UK business podcast called Disruptors. Written 18 books on business and real estate. Many of them are on Audible, so you can get the audio version too. Um, have a real estate portfolio of about 1,550 tenants. We have the largest property management company in our city. We've done about a quarter of a billion in re revenue. And, you know, if you look at a normal kind of net profit percentage, you can work out, therefore, roughly how much profit we've made. But that doesn't include the... Um, real estate business because we have uh, the UK's largest property training business. So just because some of you ask, there you go, the CV's out the way and I can crack on with the content. But I suppose that is important because there's a lot of people out there talking about money that haven't got any. There's a lot of people talking about business that haven't really run one. I've been an entrepreneur 16 years. Okay, so let's now come back to assets because if you want to create recurring income, you must build assets. I also want to come back to membership sites and digital assets. And I talked about Rob Dr. I'm going to come back to that. So stay with me. Don't go anywhere. Um, so if you want a digital asset that is quick, easy and cheap to set up, then number one, you want to make sure that it's evergreen. No point setting up a digital asset that will go out of date in a month or a year. Well, when I say no point, 
if you can keep replenishing them and they're going to make you lots of money, why not? I do um, keynote speeches because I get paid really good money. Why wouldn't I? But for example, Think and Grow Rich was written nearly 100 years ago and it's still relevant today like it was then. It doesn't have interest rates in it and it doesn't have specific numbers and names that would change. So if you build a membership site, which I'll talk to you about in a moment, like my Rob.team, or if you invest in companies, make sure you make them evergreen and they could last for years or decades. Because it always takes longer to set than to forget. You know, this 159 apartment block, Mark and I have just finished my business partner. Um, well, that took five years nearly. And that's a more than a 20 million pound, 25 million dollar project. And it took months to get all the tenants in and it took years of planning and, you know, wrestling and losing main contractors and dealing with dozens, if not hundreds of subcontractors and staff and millions of money put in. Evergreen means it never goes out of date. You know, like a tree is evergreen. It, it is green throughout the year. Its leaves don't fall off. So evergreen means it never goes out of date. It's perennial. It, it lasts forever. So as much as physical assets are great. Now, I love real estate because it's evergreen. Because people aren't going to turn around next year and go, don't need houses anymore. Ah, I'm sleeping rough. No, of course they don't. So when you set up digital ass assets, make sure they're evergreen. And to ensure that they're quick, easy and low cost, I recommend information is probably the best digital asset to start. So some of you, when I asked about what makes income recurring, you wrote things like a membership site or content creation or personal brand. And I said that you were right. You were right because information is one of the best ways to create in income. You want to turn your ideas into income. You want to turn your information into income. You want to turn what you already know into cash flow. So if rule number one of building recurring income is that it, it's only an asset that can create income. Rule number two then to build assets is make sure they're evergreen. Rule number three is start with information because it's the quickest, easiest and the cheapest. So, you know, with Rob.team, my membership site, it's only a five for a month, but it costs me virtually nothing. Like I can host it for $10 a year. I think Rob.team cost me $100. You can even set it up on a platform like Patreon where you don't even have to pay for that platform. You just pay 10% of your recurring income. So for example, if you pay five pounds for Rob.team, Patreon would only charge me 50 pence per user. So for 110 pounds or dollars a year, and 10% of all the income, I can build a membership site. I can build a content platform. Now, Rob.team has many thousands of members, times many thousands by five pounds. And then there's another level, but I only invite existing members into that occasionally. And then there's other add-ons. You know, that's, that's a high six-figure a year income just on one platform. I also have my Rob Moore supporter program. So that's subscription for Facebook, and then I get ads from YouTube. I get ad revenue and sponsors on my podcast, on my Facebook Live. So when you add all these up, these are seven figures a year in income just from me vocalizing and verbalizing what I know. Ideas and information into income. And if I can do it, you can do it. Now, OK, I've got a few years head start on you. That's why you should stand on the shoulders of giants, leverage the traits of the, Drake, the greats, and make sure that you get mentors and follow people who've been there and done it. So, asset, evergreen, information. To go from residual to recurring to passive income. Now, I want to tell you how the world has changed. By the way, I'm doing two talks. Two talks, one today, one tomorrow. Thank you very much for all the kind comments. Ping the questions in the chat if you've got any for me. So I'm a bit of an old school entrepreneur. I'm 43. So I'm not one of these kids who are um, getting their clothes off on OnlyFans and making millions. If I could, I would. Hashtag just saying. Everyone has a price. <laughs> uh, I'm not one of these YouTubers who are making millions doing pranks on YouTube. But if I could, I would. 
Or if I was younger, I would. The TikTokers, the podcasters, the Instagrammers, the kids are making millions. And the reason is, is because they don't know the old rules. So I definitely recommend you write this all down. There are, there are six main changes in the way people make their money, their, in, their information. And it's changed. So it used to be that you needed patience. Everyone was talking about patience and compounding and consistency. It used to take 10 years to be an overnight success. That was something that all the gurus said. They used to talk about competition and beating everyone else. Every, everything was a competition in business. The only assets that you really knew of 20 or 30 years ago were physical assets, companies or real estate. They used to say that the more you learn, the more you earn. And it used to be normal to expect a 5 or 6% return. This is how the world was. If you wanted to be an entrepreneur and make millions, you had to put in the graft. You had to hustle and grind 24-7, 365 for 10 years to be an overnight success. Do the work. Mother... No, I won't say that. There might be kids watching. Mother trucker. Okay, now it's changed. What used to need patience now needs speed. Patience has turned into speed. You should be impatient. You can be much quicker. Information travels at the speed of light through fiber optics, through Wi-Fi, through the internet. You don't have to wait for the letter to arrive. You can demand speed. What used to take 10 years now takes two. There are crypto billionaires in two, three or five years. There are billionaires in their 20s and it used to, it used to be 50 or 60 or 70 before you became a billionaire. So it used to take 10 and now it takes two. Now, back in the day, you needed to beat your competition. Now it's about collaboration and attention. Let me say that again. It used to be about beating your competition. Now it's about collaboration and attention. So you, we're in a world where everyone can be online and everyone can start a business on an iPhone or on Zoom. Or, and they can have a... YouTube, a TikTok, an Instagram, a Facebook, a LinkedIn, a Snapchat, they, a Clubhouse, and it's all free. So no one can deny, no one can deny that it's easier now than it's ever been to start and scale a business. But here's the, the downside, that everyone else is doing it because there's so many more of you because it's so much easier. Therefore, there's more competition. So you have to change your mind away from competition and think collaboration. Doing split screen lives and Zooms and interviews and collaborations and partnerships and joint ventures with people who you used to deem as your competition. So turn collaboration, com competition into collaboration. Okay, number four, change. It used to all, all be about making your profits and putting them into physical assets, gold, real estate, companies, businesses. Now, physical assets have changed to digital assets. Your membership sites, your social media content where you get ad and sponsorship revenue, you get um, collaboration revenue, live stream revenue. You get subscription revenue, membership revenue, donations, subscriptions, recurring revenue. Okay. They used to say you would, could realistically expect 5 to 6% a year in return on investment. Now people are getting 5 to 6% a month. Now I'm not promising that, I'm just saying... A lot of people are getting a lot higher returns than they used to because the world has changed. They used to say, the more you learn, the more you earn. I will now say this, the more you unlearn, the more you earn. You need to unlearn bad habits. You need to unlearn old school tactics. You need to unlearn the graft and learn the craft. You have to unlearn building physical things and build digital things. You have to unlearn patience and learn speed. Bosh, hope you're finding this useful. Let's crack on with more. So I'm going to share with you five income predictions for 2022 that I think you can make big money on. Are you writing these down? Because many people don't make predictions because they're worried about getting them wrong. But whilst I don't know everything, in my industry, I've been right a little bit more than I've been wrong. And it's pretty good. So number one, interest rates have to go up. Inflation has to go up. Taxes have to go up. 
Cost of living has to, has to go up, therefore you must build assets. You must now have your side hustle. Now build digital assets to create recurring income because if you don't, 15, 20% next year, your spending power's going down. You know it. My, my electricity bill this year is going to be eight grand. They just sent me the estimate. Eight grand. I better get rid of the um, electric blanket in my double bed, hadn't I? Eight grand. Just on electricity. So um, you've got to build those assets, those side hustles to combat this massive increase in cost of living. This is not going anywhere. It's only going up. I'm not being a doom monger. I'm just being honest. The next thing, though, the, se the second big prediction for 2022 and beyond is subscription sites and membership sites and software. These are the best ways to make money. Netflix are one of the biggest companies in the world. They make money through subscriptions. Most companies now that were physical product are now software. I don't know if you remember when you used to buy Photoshop. You had to buy it once with a license. I don't know if you remember all your um, Microsoft Office. You buy once a, a license and you pay a big lump of money. Not anymore. You pay subscription. You get your food delivered to your home on subscription. You have Amazon Prime on subscription. Do you know you can now buy um, or drive Volvos on subscription without actually owning them? So the subscription model, the software as a service, the membership sites, this is a massive growth area for revenue in 2022. A digital asset is simply an asset that you own online, in, on the internet. It's not physical bricks and mortar. It's not art, it's not watches, it's not cars, it's not gold and it's not property. It's information, domain names, websites, cryptocurrencies, subscription revenue, ads, sponsorships, revenue from podcasting, YouTubing, TikToking. Okay, my next predi prediction I've already covered, information. I started to think, well, there's a lot of information out there. So um, someone's asking for the link. I guess they're probably asking for the Rob.team link. Stay with me one moment. I'll give you the Rob.team link in a moment. I don't want to do it right now. I want to just finish these parts. So stay with me. Um, so I used to get worried that there's so much information out there that it's become commoditized. Here's the thing. And please write this down. We all need information. Information is only going to get more valuable. But here's the difference. If you share information with accountability, you win the game. If you just give free information, loosely, freely and flippantly, without accountability, without understanding your user, without getting in their head, without maybe charging them, without giving them some actions, then it's just like all the other stuff you can get on YouTube. And some people say, oh yeah, well, information is free, just go on YouTube. You can learn everything you need to learn on YouTube. Well, if that's the case, everyone want to be a millionaire because surely you go on YouTube and type how to be a millionaire and watch how to be a millionaire YouTube videos and then you'd be a millionaire on YouTube. If um, that was the case, then we'd all be millionaires. It's not. Information, yes, it's valuable, but information with accountability, with action, that is power. And that's why I have my Rob.team platform. So many of you have been asking for the link. Um, so the link is rob.team, R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Let me just put, we're going to put it in the um, comments now, R-O-B dot T-E-A-M, or Jordan might send a clickable link. Now, there's two reasons you're going to want to join rob.team. I wasn't going to talk about it now, but I'm getting a lot of you asking about it. Um, I can see the people asking in the comments, and I, I don't want to... Um, I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you. I'm not. But on my members platform, Rob.team, it's only a fiver. Go and do it now. Go and join and subscribe. There's two things that you're going to gain benefit from. Number one is what you get on Rob.team. But number two is you're going to model and copy and see a live subscription membership site that you could launch your own version of. So the link's just in the comments there. R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Now, go there and subscribe, and I'm going to ask you a question in a minute. Just go and do it now. Now, when you join Rob.team, you're going to get about 12 to 15 premium pieces of content per month. 
So I do two to three articles or live videos every single week only for my Rob.team subscribers. Georgina, you want the membership site? Yeah, that's it. Rob.team. R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Now, it's to start up entrepreneurs, scale up entrepreneurs. It's for you if you want to make money. You want to get better financial education and knowledge. You want to create multiple streams of recurring income. You want to leverage the creator economy, build digital assets. Uh, and you want to monetize your personal brand. So if you can say yes to any of them, Rob.team is for you. Go and join right now while I'm talking to you because I actually have to go in a minute. This time goes quick, doesn't it? <laughs> um, now, you're also going to get four big challenges a year, week-long challenges, because remember, information without accountability, it doesn't have much value. Free advice is worth every penny. But when you pay, you pay attention. So four times a year, I do a make cash challenge to make sure that you create accountability to implement the information. Now, it works because I've made nearly quarter of a billion pounds in revenue, which is what, $350 million, depending on exchange rate, not including all the real estate that I own. Some of you are saying it's not opening up. Open up a browser and write in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Go do that now while we are here live. Just open a browser and write R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. So four times a year, we do make cash challenges, 10 extra following social media challenges. We do two mindset and money events a year. We just had the biggest sports entrepreneur in the world keynote speak. We had Michael Jackson's bodyguard of 10 years, who's also got the biggest franchise of martial arts in the world speak at mindset and money. We had a billionaire speak at the last one and someone who's worth 100 million. And I do keynote speeches on mindset and money. I also do two live masterclasses a month on Zoom. That could be my monetizing social media masterclass. That could be my six day, seven figure launch masterclass, etc. And I do two of them uh, a month. I've done content repurposing and omnipresence masterclass. I've done a start your business mastermind and a scale your business mastermind. And all of this for just a fiver a month. So it's on Rob Dotty. Um, put the link in the comments again. Uh, and if you can't open it, just open a browser and type in rob.team. Another reason you want to join is because you can literally copy what I do on Rob.team to build your own membership site. Now, we're going to talk later about membership sites and subscription um, revenue models. Um, but it's a very powerful way to turn information into income, content into cash flow. Right, if it's OK, I want to move on. Go and do that right now because I've got to go in a minute. But I want to move on. So I've got lots more to, to share with you. All right, what should we do next? Yeah, some rules to setting up recurring income. So later in my next keynote talk, I'm going to be talking about all the different types of digital assets you can use to create recurring income. Audiobooks, podcasts, YouTube, Facebook Lives, subscription and membership sites. I'm having sponsors, advertisers, joint venture partners, cryptocurrencies, domain names, digital assets, SEO and blogs. There's, I think I know 21 different digital assets. And I'm going to cover those in detail on my next talk. So just make sure you don't go anywhere. Wherever you're watching me, make sure you tune in tomorrow. All right. But for now, I want to tell you the rules of setting up recurring income and how to build multiple streams of recurring income. Okay, number one then. If you want to have recurring income, you need to make sure that the asset you're setting up delivers recurring income. So if you write a book, that's recurring income once that book is on Amazon and Audible. Whereas if you get paid for public speaking or you're a consultant, while the money can be good, it's not recurring, it's occurring. I keep getting asked for the link. Stick the link again in the comments, Jordan. I'll um, pop it in again. R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. You may have to open a browser and put it in. You may not be able to click the link. So 
This is why I know, I was going to say think, I know that um, information is the best type of recurring and passive income. Why content is the best way to create cash flow. Um, because it's easy to create. It costs virtually nothing to do. Like this talk is only costing me my time. There is no hard cost to this talk. Jo, who's running the event, she's not paying me my usual keynote speaking fee. Should be. <laughs> so it's costing me nothing and our event team nothing to do this talk. But Jordan, who's managing our AV, he is recording this live. I'm also streaming it on my phone here. So once this is, in, in fact, Jordan can be there editing in real time. And I can share this live across many social media platforms. In fact, Jordan can sit here live and go, that's a good bit for TikTok and take a 15 second cut. That's good for YouTube and edit it for YouTube. That's good for Instagram. And that's good for nothing. We'll delete that, which he always has to do some of that. <laughs> so the point is this, this information is costing me nothing to create. But actually, this asset could give us 10 TikToks, one to two YouTube videos, five to 10 Facebook and other social media videos. We could put this in Rob.team for future members. This could be a podcast episode. This is why information is the best type of income. And at the Recurring Income Summit, we teach you multiple ways to turn content into cash flow and information into income. Okay, now, if you want to set up recurring income, then ideally, you want multiple streams of recurring income. But the thing is, if you don't have one stream of recurring income, then you need one stream before you have three and three before you have five. So the average millionaire has multiple streams of income. And I'm just going to list some again that I have, not to brag, but as a live example. So Mark and I have um, hundreds of thousands a month, so millions a year, not an exaggeration, in income from real estate in the form of single let, multi-let, and commercial to residential, and commercial. That's millions a year in those different four different types of real estate. I'm in one of our commercial buildings, which is 5,000 square foot, that Mark and I get um, recurring income from. And we get capital growth as well, by the way. So that's four. I earn a six-figure sum in income from my podcast, which is information. We earn a six-figure income, though if we get cancelled or shadow banned or deplatformed, it goes down. And we, that did happen once or twice. But we earn a six-figure income from my YouTube channel. We earn a six-figure income from Rob.team, a six-figure income from the Rob Moore Supporter Program, a seven-figure income from all my books. So I've written Money, Life Leverage, Start Now, Get Perfect Later, I'm Worth More, Routine Equals Results. Give me a yes in the comments if you've read any of my books, by the way, or listen to any of my books. And if not, where have you been my whole life? Money, Routine Equals Results, Start Now, Get Perfect Later, Opportunity, Life Leverage, I'm Worth More. I've written a lot of books. We got up to nine income streams, didn't we? I have sponsors and advertisers, that's 11. I have joint venture partners, that's 12. I have a training business that does about 20 million a year, that's 13. I'll, I'll stop there, there's more. So I have multiple streams of income. But here's the thing, don't start with all 13. Start with one to three. Probably you've got to be active before passive, You've got to set to forget and you've got to work hard enough not to have to work hard. That's the reality. This is not get rich quick and this is not bullshit scam passive income. I don't sell pipe dreams. I sell reality. I don't sell get rich quick. I sell get rich long and get rich big. I'll happily write a book for three to six months and get no pay. Why? Because I know I'll make millions on that book in the next 20 years and I'll write it so it won't go out of date in the next 20 years. Okay, cool. Now, once you've built up some recurring income, you need to systemize it. So once your book is on Amazon and Audible 
and you've done a deal with a publisher and you've done the contracts with the publisher and you've agreed the payment terms and how much they pay you and you invoice and you get um, you know, proper um, management accounts and you check their payments every six or 12 months, then you've got that income systemized and managed. But income needs to be systemized and managed and assets need systems and management. So I have 1,550 tenants in my real estate portfolio. And do you know what happens with 1,550 tenants if they are not managed? I don't know if you've seen any of those vampire movies, those zombie movies where everyone's just normal and life is fine and then one person catches the virus and then they infect the next and then all of a sudden everyone in the world has the virus. That's what happens to tenants if you don't manage them properly. (laughs) Believe me, I've got 1,550 of them. So some people think, oh, I'm going to get rich quick and I'm going to have passive income and I'm going to sit on a beach and I'm going to smoke a cigar and I'm going to drink pina coladas. I'm going to be in my bikini and I'm going to wax my little bits and I'm going to live the dream and get a tan and do nothing for the rest of my life. Fuck yeah. Fuck no. I'm just spitting all over my laptop and computer now. If that worked, I'd be the first one on it. It doesn't work. You have to set to forget. You have to work hard enough not to have to work hard. Assets need management and systems and spot checking. I'll tell you this, and if you're watching, you know. My publishers need chasing to pay me. My tenants won't pay me if I don't put them on standing order. They will damage my properties if we don't manage their deposits and keep them accountable. So when you set your asset, you want to think about systems and processes and automation or make your asset so simple that they don't need a lot of management. Like recording your book on audio on Audible is great. You already written the book. Let's see if we've got any of our books lying around. We haven't because I've sold them all. Um, But writing the book is the hard bit. Reading the book on Audible is a bit of a pain in the ass, but once it's live on Audible, there's not much management to do. It is there for many years. In fact, I just looked to buy my book Money. It's got approaching 4,000 reviews on Audible. That's huge. That must put it in the top 0.001%. And it just, I mean, I wrote that book over five years ago. Cool. All right, then. So... Definitely leverage social media. My question to you is, are you making money on Facebook? Are you making money on YouTube? Are you making money on podcasts? Are you making money on TikToks and YouTube shorts? That is a question. You are allowed to comment. My guess is no. Um, And that's okay, because that's why you're here. Now, Do you know that you can earn on every Facebook Live? Do you know that? There's a paid Facebook Live button in the Creator Studio. And you can go live and earn on every Facebook Live. So why aren't you doing more Facebook Lives? Maybe... uh, Going live every day, doing content, it's a pain in the ass, it's a lot of work, I've got time. Well... Would you go live every day on Facebook if you could earn fifty to $4,000 per live? Is that a yes or a yes? <laughs> now, you can have a sponsor on podcasts and you can earn anywhere from $500 to $100,000 or more from a sponsor for a podcast. Do you know once you get to a certain subscriber base, you can earn on every single YouTube video. Every single one. Hmm. Now, most people do not leverage social media enough. Here's the irony of social media. Most people are on it all day, but they're not earning any money. So you're either a producer or a consumer. A consumer is I'm scrolling, I'm swiping, I'm pressing, I'm watching, I'm listening, but I'm not earning and I'm not creating. 
Whereas a creator, they do live video content. They do pre-recorded video content. They write blogs. They have Facebook groups. And this is the big thing. I'm going to leave you with this. Is Dylan ready? Because I'm on until one, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, great. So the trick. Give me a yes in the comments if you want the proper trick of creating digital assets quicker, easier and cheaper. I want a yes in the comments. I'm only telling you if I get a load of yeses. Give me a yes in the comments if you want the real trick, the hack, the leverage for digital assets. Scalability. Minimum time, maximum results. Okay, this is it. Content repurposing. Content repurposing. I know because I've, look, I've mentored hundreds of thousands of people. I mean, we've got 800,000 people just on our email database. I have, is it 1.2? About 1.2 million followers on social media, give or take. So I've helped a lot of people and I know your objections and I know your challenges. And they are, don't have time to be on social media all day. But what if I told you you could do one piece of content and it could be turned into 40 pieces of content? What if I told you that? Hmm. What if I told you you could earn between $50 and $4,000 per piece of content? Might you change your attitude to content? Might you invest 15 minutes? Do you know my average Facebook Live is 12 minutes? So people think how hard it is to create content and how long it takes. My average Facebook Live is 12 minutes. And I repeat myself three times. <laughs> I always do. Be like, Rob, you're repeating yourself. Just to give you a little tip. I repeat myself on my Facebook Lives if I see the numbers going up. Because if I see the numbers going up, I'm getting more reach. And I repeat myself because the people coming onto the live hadn't heard the content at the start. If the numbers don't go up, I don't repeat myself and, and I finish. But Jordan is doing the AV in the background. In fact, let's list it out. Let's list it out right now. Let's say this talk finishes in three minutes. It will. And let's say Jordan's got this talk as an asset. What can he do with this? He can put this on the Disruptors podcast episode. He could also put this on the Money podcast because it's linked to money. He could put it on YouTube. He could give it to Harry who manages our Disruptors podcast and our YouTube channel. And he could, Harry could create, let's say, five shorts, five YouTube shorts. One, two, three, four, five. So we're on eight. I reckon he could get five reels out of it. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I reckon he could easily get 10 top TikToks. I was going to say top ticks. TikToks. So what's that? 23. Um, this could be in the Disruptive Entrepreneur Facebook group, 24. Progressive Property Facebook group that I own, 25. There could be some tweets. This could be given um, to my Rob.team subscribers. What have we missed? So that's nearly 30. This one talk can be nearly 30. And I can earn on it multiple ways. So the key to create multiple streams of income it's not just to have multiple assets, it's to earn multiply on one asset. I'll give you an example. Mark and I own a lot of real estate. We get capital growth, income from rental, but we also get income, income from owning the, the, um, the land. And we have ground rent and service charges. So we have ground rent, service charges, insurance commissions. We have rental income, capital growth. And if we're the managing company, we get a commission on the management. So actually, I'd never really thought about that until now. But we, own, we earn six different ways in our real estate. Insurance, management income, ground rent, service charge, rental and capital growth. Oh, by the way, I run a training business teaching people how to do property as well. And I've written books on property. So that's like eight, eight streams of income from the same thing. This should be a bit of a revelation to you. So many people are saying, I'm doing crypto, NFTs, 
Uh, yeah, I've got an online course. I'm doing a bit of real estate. I'm doing a bit of stock market. I'm buying some gold. I'm a creator. I'm doing social media and I've got a membership site. And they're trying to earn eight different ways. Now, you can, but it takes quite a long time. Remember, you have to set to forget and work hard enough not to have to work hard. But the trick, the hack, like if this is the only thing you take from this content, this has been worth your time. Create multiple streams of income from the same asset. The same asset. I have got 18 books on Amazon, 12 books on Audible. And we repurpose our content onto multiple channels so I can earn from it on Facebook Lives, YouTube, podcast, Instagram. You get badges on Instagram, etc., etc. I hope you've enjoyed it. My first session of two. I'm going to teach you in my next session. So make sure you're following. You don't go anywhere. This is going to be tomorrow, by the way. If you don't turn up tomorrow, I will know who you are and I will find you. <laughs> Thanks for all the kind comments, by the way. But tomorrow, I'm going to give you my favorite 10 digital assets, the nine rules of assets and entrepreneurship. And then I'm going to talk to you about all the other ways to create recurring income and manage recurring income. Now, if you haven't yet joined Rob.team, look, it's only a fiver a month, so I know you can afford it. So either... You don't know me enough yet to trust me. Well, hopefully now we've had an hour together, you do. And I've proved to you I know what I'm doing. Or you're lazy and can't be bothered to click the link. So, Jordan, can you put the link in the comments one more time for Rob? I am literally going in one minute. So you may not get another chance to join Rob.team. But Rob.team is for startup entrepreneurs, scale-up entrepreneurs. It is only £5 a month. It's a subscription membership site. Instead of paying me a thousand pound for this course, a thousand pound for that, five grand for mentoring, etc., you can just join Rob.team and get ongoing accountability and content. And the content is always on startup entrepreneurship, scale up entrepreneurship. It's on content creation, monetizing your personal brand, monetizing social media, creating multiple streams of recurring income and building digital assets. That's what it's on. The link is in the comments. You get 12 plus pre pieces of premium content. You can come to my special live mindset and money event twice a year. You can get two masterclass courses a month from me. The next one is called How to Monetize Social Media. It's a one day course. Only Rob.team members will get access to that. Um, we also do the four challenges here, the Make Cash Challenge, the Tenacious your social media um, following, loads of other cool stuff. Um, so I'll see you in rob.team. It's a five for a month. You can cancel any time. My medium skinny cappuccino extra shot is nearly a fiver. And even better, you can go and join rob.team and you can learn how to build your own membership site by copying mine. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I'm out of here. Over to you, Dylan. Hit, hit the share button. Come on. <laughs>